Hello students, in this video we are going to derive an expression for acceleration due to gravity at a height h or at an altitude h from the surface of the earth. In the last video we have derived an expression for acceleration due to gravity on the surface of the earth but this time the body is at height h above the surface and to derive this first you have to consider your body of mass m consider a body of mass m consider a body of mass m at a height yet at a height yet above the surface of the earth above the surface of the earth above the surface of the earth of radius of radius capital R and mass capital M so here we have considered a body the height h above the surface of the earth of radius capital R and mass so here our earth and its mass is capital and its radius from the center its radius is capital R. Its radius is capital R. And the body is at height h from the surface of the earth. Body is at height h above the surface of the earth, and the body's mass is small m. Body's mass is m. Okay, now the gravitational force between the earth and the body. Using Newton's force of gravitation, we can calculate that, right? The gravitational force. The gravitational force between. The earth and the body and the body is F equals to capital G and the product of masses that is capital M and so on and then this comes to win earth and the earth sorry earth and the body and here the distance is actually H from the earth the distance of the body is h but that is not the case here you know that the gravitational force exerted by the earth is from the center of the earth because you know that earth exerts the gravitational force of the body as if the whole mass of the earth is concentrated at the center the whole mass is concentrated at the center and therefore the distance between the earth and the body is considered as R plus H. So it is R plus H whole square and it is equation number one. So this gives the gravitational force of attraction between earth and the body. And now the weight of the body. The weight, the weight of the body is and this weight is given by this equation is given into GH because GH is acceleration due to gravity at height h. At this height, this is the acceleration of a body. And that's why the weight at that height is going to be m into GH. And this is called as the equation number 2. And you know that the weight is followed by the gravitational force only. And that's why the additional force is equal to the weight of that body at that position. And therefore, from equation 1 and 2, from equations 1 and 2, mg, that is weight of the body at the height h, is equal to the additional force of that body at height h. And now the mass of the body is cancelled because it is there on the both side of the 
equal sign and therefore the acceleration due to gravity at high h is gh equals to g capital M divided by half plus ch whole square. So this equation gives us the acceleration due to gravity at high h above the surface of the earth. Above the surface of the earth. So here from this equation it is very clear that once again the acceleration due to gravity at high h is independent of the mass of the body. It only depends on mass of the earth and radius of the earth and its height from the surface of the earth. And we can express this equation in other forms also. So now the acceleration due to sorry acceleration of the surface of the earth the acceleration on the surface of the earth the acceleration on the surface of the earth is and we know that that is the acceleration due to gravity on the surface of the earth is g equals to factor g factor m divided by r square and we call it as equation of the fourth so it gives the acceleration of the body due to gravity of the earth on the surface of the earth okay and now dividing equation 3 and 4 dividing equation 3 by 4 dividing equation number 3 by 4 we are going to get gh divided by g equals to what is gh now gh is capital G capital M divided by R plus H whole square and whole divided by GM divided by R square. GM divided by R square. So GM and GM is going to cancel here. So this R square goes to the numerator now. And therefore GH by G is now equals to R square divided by R plus H whole square. You know that this acceleration due to gravity on the surface of the earth is constant, and therefore we are going to move this g on the right hand side of the equal sign. So it is gh equals to g into r square divided by r plus h whole square. So call it as equation number five, and this equation gives the expression for acceleration due to gravity at height h at height. Yet, this is a common expression for acceleration due to gravity at height yet. Okay? Yes, and obviously, as yet increases, acceleration due to gravity decreases. As yet increases, as height of the body increases, the acceleration due to gravity starts to decrease. Okay, we can simplify this equation for small heights. Okay, we can simplify this equation for a small heights. Now the acceleration due to gravity for small heights. Acceleration due to gravity. Sorry, acceleration due to gravity. For small heights, for small heights, that is, it is much less than the radius of the earth. Okay, so we are going to use the equation number 5 only, and that is gh is now a constant. I am going to take this r outside of this bracket sign, so it will be gr squared. And here, when r comes outside of the bracket, it will become r squared. And then 1 plus h by r to the power 2. So this r square, this r square is going to cancel mm -hmm. out. And then this gh is equal to g divided by 1 plus h by r whole square. And now we are going to move this whole term to the numerator. And this will become gh equals to g into 1 plus 
get by r to the power minus 2 because we have moved that term on the numerator side. Okay? And now to simplify this term, 1 plus h by r to the power minus 2, we are going to use binomial theorem. We are going to use the binomial theorem. Okay? So from binomial theorem, from binomial theorem, we are going to expand this term, that is 1 plus h by r to the power minus 2. Okay, so this is going to be 1 plus nx. So n is minus 2 and x is h by r. So it is minus 2 into h by r plus, and this term contains the higher order of h by 2, so h by r. So we are going to negate these terms. We are going to negate the higher orders of h by r. And therefore, this 1 plus h by r to the power minus 2 is simply 1 minus 2h divided by r. And using that value in this equation, and therefore, now it is gh equals to g into 1 minus 2h by r. So this is equation number. 6 and this equation gives us the acceleration due to gravity at height h and in this case the height is small for small heights.